Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead Candy Roth. Today, finally, the cable guy is coming, or girl. I'm not, you know, I I, sh- I misspoke, Candy. The cable you did. person could be a man or a woman, but they're the- coming today. I hope they don't cancel or have to reschedule. Getting my Altice fixed, getting my Wi-Fi back, and hopefully they have booties for their shoes. That's all I have to oh say about goodness. that. Oh boy, oh boy. Yeah. Uh, so uh, we have that going on today. Um, and uh, my daughter, uh, before I get to the story, I've been uh, telling you I want to tell. Um, you know, Leah turned 13 yesterday. Yes, she did. And she was, uh, the one thing she wanted, she was homeschooled yesterday. She was virtual schooling yesterday. She's back in school today. But um, the one thing she wanted for her birthday was Chick-fil-A. Oh. So, now it's a little out of the way. The one Chick-fil-A in the area is in Port Jeff. And it, it's a good, you know, it's a good half hour away. At okay. Least. I, but, so, you know, I go to work. Then I, I run to Chick-fil-A. The line actually was not that bad. you know. And by the way, can I just say, I don't care how long the line is at Chick-fil-A. Any Chick-fil-A you go to, these people, they, it's amazing. The speed, the smile on their face, it's unbelievable. You want to give them your money, Candy. It's oh, amazing. See, they have them well trained. It's, ama- it's amazing. Anyone who goes there, uh, and I don't go that often. I just, last couple weeks we have because of Leah, but... I, uh, anyway, I bought $70 worth of Chick-fil-A. Whoa! Yeah. Uh, and we had lunch and dinner. Everyone had, like, two meals of it. It was, yeah, so it was fun. It was the whole day's worth of food, and Leah was happy. And Good. Uh, yeah, so, all good. Now, listen to this story. I have to, uh, uh, get your feeling. I want you to tell me how you're feeling as I'm telling you this story. All right. Okay? There's a guy in San Francisco who back in the day, his name's Stephen Thomas, back in the day, he put together a, uh, this is in 2011, a video about Bitcoin. Okay, someone said, you know, one of the Bitcoin people said, can you put this video together? All right. All right. So he put it together, it's 2011, Bitcoin is worthless. And he puts it together, and as payment, uh, they gave him 7,002 Bitcoin. They gave him a digital wallet with seven thousand and two Bitcoin. Okay, today that Got Bitcoin, yeah. that that Bitcoin, is worth two hundred and thirty-four million dollars. So here's what he does: he gets one of these encrypted keys, um, this private key, uh, to keep his digital wallet closed so nobody can steal this money, right? And with this key, if you forget your password. You only get 10 guesses at the password before the hard drive permanently encrypts the contents and you cannot get it unlocked. So anyway, this guy, Stefan, forgot the password because it's been eight, nine years, whatever it's been. He's he's laid up at night thinking, what could the password be? What are my usual passwords? He's tried it eight times. He has failed eight times. Two more chances. And his two hundred and thirty-four million in Bitcoin locks away forever, Candy. It's gone. Oh my goodness! And the people who make the digital keys and Bitcoin both say they cannot help with this because there is a, a you know a, some kind of fail safe or so, some kind of thing on it that so nobody will know other than the person who has the digital key nobody else will know the password these companies these people they are not allowed to have the password so no one has the password except for this guy and he's got 234 million in bitcoin stuck in this digital wallet wow and if he screws up two more times trying to punch in a wrong password it is gone forever candy I don't know what I would do. Jump out the window, start crying hysterically. I don't. And what? So is there an ending? There is no ending right now. Oh, he's got, my goodness. So he says he's not going to try the last two yet, hoping that at some point there's some sort of digital breakthrough and someone can figure out the password for him, like, hmm. you know, with technology or something. Um, but he says he lays up in at night racking his brain saying what could it possibly be going over all his passwords that he's ever had in his life wow is that i mean what would you 
Think about I, it. I don't know what I would do. I, I would cry hysterically. There's no question about that. I, I don't know. I, I, that is a crazy story. Sounds like I a can't movie. Believe, it does. Ooh, that would be a good movie. It would. I would. cannot believe it. <laughs> so the, 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 the question is, you know, obviously he just started trying to open it now because he's seeing what Bitcoin is doing. And he's probably thinking to himself, boy, now would be a good time to sell my Bitcoin. You got that right, Mr. Right. So the, the, the catch here is Bitcoin could collapse any day or keep getting higher. You don't know what's going to happen with Bitcoin. It can be worthless a year from now. This oh. guy wants to get it open and oh. probably get rid of it or sell it or something. Good luck I, to him. In, incredible. I would be so stressed out. I, I I don't know. I'd be out of my mind. No question. On a side note, one of my tickets on uh, on Mega Millions last night won $10. I had two numbers and the hey, Mega Ball. Hey, 10 bucks. Congratulations. Two and the Mega Ball. That was only Whoa. three numbers away, Candy. That's really fantastic. Good for you. Yes, and nobody won. It is already $750 oh, wow. million oh, for Friday. Wow. All yeah. right. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country, 96.1.